Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So today we're going to be talking about um, what the best Pinterest pins are for digital download or printable sellers. And this one I saved for last in my little series of handmade and uh, vintage. Those are in the, um, you can find those at the end of this. But holy shnikes, this is the hardest one because first off, the competition is huge, right? And then you also have the fact that many people on, so on Etsy, everybody you're competing with already is selling a printable. You may be competing with, do you sell yours for $350 or do you sell yours for $17? Do you bundle them? Do, you know, what are you doing? But on Pinterest, a lot of them are free, right? So we need to make our pins on Pinterest even more amazing than they are for the free versions, right? So we're going to start with, with printable planners. And we're in Etsy right now. So there's printable wed wedding planners, printable planner stickers, printable planner, and printable stationery. So we already know that that there are some different kinds and and there are quite a few results so for printable planners we have 133,000, which is a large number right that's a really large number to be competing with now let's go over to here and do print and we want to start seeing what um pinterest says so we have printable and printables so i'm going to use my little notebook over here printable printables you could use word you could use and i don't want to change that i want to have both of those um i'm first looking for my keywords to see what we're doing and then as we go through we're also going to be looking for pictures and see what kinds of pictures they're using for these things so if we go with just printable and I don't have, so let's just look at general printables. And what you want to do when you're picking how to make your pictures is to start at the very highest level that you can. We don't care right now whether they're free printables or whether they're paid printables. We want to see what's going on. So printables we've got, oh my gosh, that's a three up, right? We got download over 700 pre free printable files. We have kind of a, um, so this is showing the end result of the printable, right? So you have kind of the binder that you would put all your printables into. Here's a whole bunch of what they would get, free printable maps. So this is, to me, if I was selling, um, and we're going to do three different kinds of things, just so you know, printable planners, printable artwork, and then printable invitations. So for me, this is way too broad. But I do want to start to get a, a feeling, and luckily for me, Printable Planner is, because it's my realtor planner, Printable Planners is a big category. So also the very first one under there is free, right? So here's some things you want to think about. So Happy Planner is a style of planner. So whether or not and there's one size of the happy planner that my planner pages will fit into it's just the one that's like the size of um eight and a half by eleven but that's something to note whether it's for this time and knowing what to do with um, my keywords or whether it's for um, product development so what i could do is i could buy one of those full-sized happy planners and take a picture remember we saw it in real life we could make one with just that and a pin that just focused on the happy planner so if you can get into this is very different than etsy you don't want to kind of um use those words you could you could say it fit in happy planners because you're not you're not trying to um mess with with a a copyrighted keyword but on Pinterest, you're allowed to say um, things. Like you can more so say Disney. You can more so do that. Um, I still wouldn't encourage it, but you would have a much easier time. Um, okay, templates, printer planable templates. Let's see what that says. T templates. 
because mine is not editable. So I would assume finally planners that fit you trackers, free printables, free printables, okay, free bullet journal printables, rainbow planner, free printables. So you may be wondering why people are giving away free printables. Um, the reason is I give away free printables too on some of the pages on my website. I get paid for views. Um, and also I try to like give away a free Monday through Friday something to sell them into a whole planner. Um, it's a way of marketing. So we want, I want to keep going to find personal planners. So mine's a business planner. So we have monthly, weekly. You want to do all these binder business. So I need business. I don't know if I love templates. I feel like I would be courting disaster because I think they would want to be able to edit them. And I don't do that. Oh, there's mine. How to set your DIY business planner up. So that's awesome. I love that. Um, okay, so we have templates, direct sales. Now, I do have a direct sales planner, so I'm going to take down this note. Direct sales. Um, time management. Uh, Etsy, yay, score, right? So now we want to go right in here because these, and, and I would, I would obviously do more work on this if I wasn't working with you guys, but we're going to go into Etsy. If you sold, um, planner printables on ClickBank or another place, you would want to do that. But we got Etsy and then we got direct sales again, um, life products, products, Etsy products. So we could go down into Etsy products. Um, let's see, Etsy products, and then we ran out of words, right? So we want to um, see what's going on at here. Work at home, that's good for me, work at home, and we have Etsy and products, which I'm going to put into my uh, descriptions so that I can show up in the search, life planner, link tips, tips, that's, so tips and ideas, I always use tips and ideas for my blog posts. But tips and ideas um, you may not want to do for a product, right? Because you want to more so um, be selling something rather than getting giving tips and ideas. So this is the difference between e-commerce and information marketing. On my blog posts, I want to talk a lot about um, tips and ideas. And on my product sales, I want them to know that they're going to click through this pin and go to be able to purchase something so that they don't continually on Pinterest click through, come right back because they were looking for information and then Pinterest will denigrate my pin and not make it um, show up as well. Okay, so this is another one of mine. All right, so we have Etsy Business Planner Printable Products. So we wanna see what, <laughs> and obviously I've influenced it. So I'm gonna put, and I call that my girly post. So girly post, my girly design. So I, since I have influenced it, I can use my own girly design. Okay, so they are mostly three by two. There's not a lot of tall ones. Um, so two by three. So if it was, um, that's a ratio. So it's, so if it was 600 wide, it would be 900 tall. If it was 900 wide, it would be 1200 tall. Um, so I just want to note that three by two, because sometimes I make really tall pins. Um, printables, how to, okay, so this is, um, okay, so they're showing the form, showing form. See, this to me is, I've kind of gotten into, okay, this is a thing. So showing all pages small and size. I like how she did this, A4 letter size. And you know what? I might almost keep this so I can use it as a template and I can remember it. I'm not going to copy hers because obviously we're doing, this is for knitting, right? So I'm not gonna copy hers, but I'm gonna copy the way that it looks. Okay, um, see this is product descriptions, S-E-S-E-O. 
So I feel like I got too far down. I got too far away from planners. Etsy business. Okay. So I have pink background. Pink is big on Pinterest. Pink background. Black bars, which is this one. Um, and product pages all right um, we have a picture of a planner picture of planner uh, we have a squiggly arrow so that's important squiggly arrow I don't want to grow a printable shop I want to focus on So we also, I see a lot of teal backgrounds, right? So there was a lot of pink, but there's a lot of teal backgrounds. And what else can we see here? Yeah, that's, I mean, that's kind of where we're going. They have a lot of where they have the words in the planner. So I have one, two, I don't know why these are all underlined. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight different things I can use for my um, design starting. So that's going to be good. I like that. And then um, I am going to do one more thing printable realtor planner because I'm actually doing my work here sorry okay so very similar um, I'm going to add top and bottom bar So see how there's a top and bottom bar with the words? There's a candid, I call those candids, where they print out, you know, they print it out. See, they kind of like colors. And my planners aren't colorful colors. Um, but I can do that with my, see, this lady does this a lot. She's good. Okay, so I have enough for mine. Next we're going to do... Boop, 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 boop. Printable artwork. Now, let's see how many competitions we have. 44,000. So this is better. It's so funny. I always hear how um, how competitive it is. Not compared to my stuff. But wait till we get to the next one. Okay, so printable artwork. And I picked this laundry printable. Now, this is um, super important. Um, print a bowl artwork because people are just randomly looking for printables they may be looking for in their home right I like vintage style I like um, something for my laundry room I like something for my craft room I like something for my living room I like the color blue I like you know so so the more you can be specific about who it's for, the more likely you are going to show your product to somebody who's going to be interested in buying. So let's do this. Laundry printable. Okay. We should have seen what it... Laundry printables. So it should be laundry printables. Laundry printables. Okay, uh, so let's do laundry printables, and we have free template vintage, so if it was a vent, I think that looks like a vintage, so if it's vintage, you can do vintage, farmhouse, that's definitely farmhouse, right, um, funny print signs, I feel like that's a sign, those are signs, cool signs, oh, I gotta get this too, so I don't forget. So we can give her credit for that. Um, let's see what else we got over here. So, so I feel like poster, poster. 
almost feel like those are posters, right? Because they're like a eight and a, eight and a half by eleven would be like a sign maybe to me, and those look like those would be big printed out on bigger posters. Let's see how big they are. I bet you you can print them any size you want, right? But if we're going to try to sell this product, let's do poster. We're going to go down the poster rabbit hole because we need to see what kind of pictures on Pinterest people like. Okay, so a picture of the, uh, the, the poster itself, right? So we have just the poster. We have two up, meaning there's two pictures, top and bottom. Two up um, with words middle, right? Uh, we have like um, a lifestyle plain. I feel like that's plain. That's like the plainest you could get a lifestyle picture, right? Um, and then we have a lifestyle with 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 the title, lifestyle title. Ooh, and then we have a four up, four up with color block in middle and words and see here there is um, a tall pin see how mine were all three by two this one is probably two by four so it's twice as big as it is tall um, tall pin that's a lifestyle. Okay, can we find products? No. What happens if we add Etsy? Etsy. So why would somebody want to pay for it, right, when you can get all these other ones free? Well, it could be that the ones that are free are, um, so we're going to put Etsy product, right? Etsy product in our keywords. Um, Etsy product. I can't type and talk at the same time. Sorry. Product. Um, so some of those, you could print and sign out this big, but if you tried to make it a poster size, they don't offer you the high-res version. So somebody that is looking for something pretty to hang in their um, actual home is going to be more willing to spend, what is it, like $10 or something like that. Okay, now we're getting into way more lifestyle um, lifestyle pictures, not plain lifestyle, right? So this has the picture of the chair and things like that. You can do those with mock-ups. Most of us do them with mock-ups. It's not a thing. Okay, so this one's kind of cool. This is words from poster top. Picture life lifestyle picture bottom. Okay, so I feel like we have a really good overview of what is doing well for this search. So we're going to move on to one last one, and this is printable invitations. Okay, now hold on to your horses, kids. Half a million, right? Yeah. Um, and the reason why it's half a million the reason why it's half a million is because most of these people are what's called drop you know they're making them um, with templates and so you'll see a lot of different sellers with the same designs because they're not actually designing them themselves they're using a a service that gives them designs and then they sell them. It's much like the uh, uh, t-shirt sellers, the people that sell cups. Some of them are screen printing them themselves, don't get me wrong, but a lot of them are just using standard templates. Okay, so we want to find out 
for these printable invitations, we're going to do a bridal shower invitation, okay? So this is where you want to get specific again, like the laundry room printables. You have to get specific because if you were doing all the printable invitations, what do we have? We have a bonfire, fall festival, Christmas party, baseball child game, um, children's party. We have bridal showers, bridal showers, baby showers, pool party, right? So you have to have a specific thing so that you can look things up. So let's look up our printable invitations. We want to go as high as we can. So printable invitations, uh, lots of free, but we don't have free. So printable invitation, right? S. Okay. Then we have birthday templates. So templates for me would be these guys because they do allow you to edit them. Crafts wedding. So wedding, it's a bridal shower, but that's related to wedding. So let's go to wedding and see if that's okay. Wedding. Templates, templates, be my bridesmaids, bridal shower. Awesome. So then we do bridal shower. And we ran out of things. So this is this is going to be our, our ones, right? So, wow. So we have um, pictures. Uh, six up. Words at top. Now, I know those are free, but we don't care. Okay, we have top bottom two up two up lifestyle words in middle we have uh like plain lifestyle plain lifestyle uh printable banner Okay, and see these are Etsy ones. So let's see if they go to the same store. That would be interesting. So this goes to Hello Horus Papery. And let's see if this one goes to Hello Horus Papery. And that, so they're doing very well, right? They're doing super well. We're happy for them. Yay, them. Okay. Ooh, and there's another good tip. Hold on. All right, so you have the uh those are printed printed okay so we have rose gold okay so now you need to drill down to colors with your um with your words okay um we have oh uh, this is a wedding dress finder Oh, I almost bridal shower. Bridal shower isn't really the wedding dress, right? This is more. And they got tacos. They got games. Bridal shower games. So we have the invitations. Printable invitations. Wedding bridal shower. What if we took out wedding? Maybe that's messing us up. Okay, so we're. We're seeing a lot of just the picture. Uh, lady hands holding. Okay. There's another lady hands holding. And there's hands holding, right? So there's a lot of, we're seeing a lot of people in them. Those are bridal shower games. This is, um, and a lot of them have flowers beside the printable. And the printable is real. Like, they've printed it out. This is, well, this one could be, um, you know, they're, they're, it's probably a template, like a, a mock-up. Um, ooh, I like that bridal tea shower. That's cute. Now they're relying a lot on the design of this. Now this is a good one. Wedding four up wedding invitations. Uh, 
And I am going to go here and save that pin because I need that pin. Nope, I don't want that. I want the pin URL. Oh, darn it. I'm going to have to screen capture it as a promotion. Okay, because we're going to talk about this in another video. All right, so I have to delete that. Four up wedding invitations with words one third down. Okay. All right, so I think that's about it. So, so for the for our wedding gals, oh, there it is. We have lifestyle top, um, like dishes, and then we have four up bottom mix champagne and wedding invitation right so this is actually um sorry about that my world goes nuts when my phone rings um but we were just finishing up so i'm not going to um to mess with that but so what we can see from this one is that we have a lot of, um, you know, the, the static. There's another lady with the background, and that's an Etsy one. Um, but we have some things for that one. So those are pictures that Pinterest liked for products for a printable product. So hopefully that helps. If you like videos like this, I'm doing a whole series on Pinterest for Etsy. Make sure to subscribe. If you like this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Earthly.